Good evening. This is Ben Herzog with the National Weather Service in Milwaukee Sullivan bringing you a weather briefing about the upcoming winter storm. A strong low pressure system will move across the region bringing large amounts of precipitation to Wisconsin. Much of this will fall as snow across central Wisconsin. Unfortunately here in southern Wisconsin we will yet again be in that transition zone where a mix of rain, snow, sleet, and freezing rain will all be possible at various times of the day. At this time, a winter storm warning is in effect for Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, Green Lake, and Marquette counties beginning at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. A winter storm watch is also in effect for that time for Washington, Dodge, Columbia, and Sauk counties. Getting right into the precipitation amounts, the highest accumulations are expected from approximately the cross to Green Bay, where we're looking for 12 to 18 inches of snow. In our forecast area, 8 to 12 inches are expected across northern Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, and Green Lake and Marquette counties. Six to eight inches are expected across the southern portions of those counties and the northern portions of Washington, Dodge, Columbia, and Sauk counties. Now taking a look at estimated precipitation type and timing. On Wednesday, we are expecting rain across most of the forecast area, with a mixture of rain and snow across the far north. On Wednesday night, we'll begin to transition to all snow across the north, and that rain-snow transition line will continue to shift south. At this time, freezing rain also becomes possible thanks to cold air rushing in beneath the precipitation. The heaviest precip of the event is expected Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and this is when the majority of the snow will accumulate across the winter storm watch and warning. By Thursday morning, the transition zone will continue to move south and east, although just rain is still expected in the far southeast. By Thursday afternoon, snow will have overtaken most of the area, though a rain-snow mix will linger in the far southeast. Now looking at hazardous weather impacts, snow and sleet will be the primary hazard throughout this event, especially closer to central Wisconsin. However, at least some snow is expected across all of southern Wisconsin. As I mentioned previously, there is also a threat for some freezing rain and icing, especially Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Fortunately, relatively warm ground temperatures should limit the accumulations on the ground. There will also be a threat for wind and blowing snow through this event, as blustery north to northeast winds are expected. Fortunately, there is little threat for excessive cold. In terms of confidence, the forecast models are finally becoming into better agreement, and so we do have relatively high confidence across the area where we've got the highest snowfall totals. However, small differences in the low track may result in significantly different snow amounts. So please pay, continue to pay attention to the forecast. So impacts. Heavy wet snow is expected across central Wisconsin. This may result in hazardous travel, even in locations where there are the lower snow amounts thanks to the sleet and freezing rain. There could also be periods of low visibility thanks to the heavy precipitation. Also watch out for gusty northeast to north winds, which may result in blowing and drifting snow. As I mentioned, snow ch small changes to the track of the low could result in significantly different snow accumulations, so please continue to monitor the forecast.